I like the fact that with pastel, I have painted in oil. The museum show did have a number of oil paintings as well. But I love the immediacy of drawing mediums. So charcoal, pastel, pencil, for me, to see this emerge from my imagination, because I haven't got the subject matter in front of me and I don't use any reference material, unless maybe it's a London piece, it might be the, the only uh, difference. So I'm working from my imagination, and pastel allows me that time to see it develop creatively. And I probably work differently to a number of artists that I have the image in my mind and I work towards it. I don't sort of create work that I don't know how it's going to end up looking. I work back to front that I get a finished vision in my mind and work towards the, the vision itself. So we're going back to the early 80s and as an artist you're constantly looking for new ideas and themes. And I'd heard through the grapevine that there was a puppet theatre that was invited back next week. Now unbeknown to myself, the director of the puppet theatre was a man called John Blundell who I recognised the name and he actually sculpted, uh, sculpted Parker from Thunderbirds. Wow. And I went back the following week and he gave me a demonstration of one of the characters and he literally brought this figure alive. And as an artist I thought, I wonder if I can bring these wonderful characters, breathe new life into them and bring them alive through my paintings. So that visit to the puppet theatre was a cathartic turning point mm. for me yeah. and changed my life as an artist forevermore. As I say, now the demand every year, I think I'd be in trouble if we didn't release <laughs> a new snowman and I'm proud of this brand new release, of Snowman Story. Yeah. And I think you have to, but well, I remember first taking it to the publishers, they probably didn't see many snowmen pieces and what surprised me and something I thought will this happen will people keep the snowman on the wall all year and it's exactly what's happened the little boy within me and I'm now the double granddad is the little boy within me who aspired to be a professional artist that's still painting today he's driving it the little boy that wanted to be an artist is still leading it to, to this day